Thanks for watching Mid Morning this Tuesday. 2021 is shaping up to be the year of the wedding. The wedding planning site, The Knot, says the number of couples ordering save the date announcements more than tripled at the start of the year compared to the fall. I received a, a wedding invite in the mail yesterday, like all wow. the weddings are yeah. coming back, uh, which I think is really fun. Kind of amazing that nearly half of the couples with weddings scheduled for last year actually postponed into 2021. Right, right. And they're still hoping to create that magic, even yeah. if they're doing that uh, a year, a year or even months later. In some cases, um, they're spending less time engaged at average engagement time as of 2019 was about 15 months and a third of wedding vendors said they were fully booked for 2021. Yeah. yeah, so all of that just goes to this idea that people are, you know, there's all this pent up demand. You have people who would have normally gotten married this summer mm -hmm. and then add in the people who've rescheduled. Yeah. Uh, if, if you were engaged to be married in 2020 during COVID, would you have delayed it a year? I think I would have probably done a more scaled down version of the wedding because I think everything probably feels different a year mm. later. Um, I would probably go forward with the experience, maybe make it smaller, probably put a little more yeah. emphasis on the videographer so you could share that. Share with the all video, the folks. right? Yeah, share with all the folks that couldn't be there. Um, but Don't yeah. you wonder, like, I wonder, I, I think everyone makes their own decision on this, yeah. right? A wedding is so emotional and, mm -hmm. and weddings are, depending on when you get married in your life cycle, mm -hmm. right? Like I got married right after college. Mm -hmm. So our wedding was like the third wedding we had ever been to. So we yeah. didn't know anything about weddings. It was mostly for our family, yeah, right? Like it was the way they wanted it and we loved it, but it was, we, we didn't know. And my parents, they were the same. Well, they got married actually 18 and 19 uh, right out of high school. Yeah. And so they got married in the backyard. Right. And so when you just don't have a lot of resources, but that's have a lot do. of love, that's what you do. Yeah. So, yeah. It's interesting that it's all coming back. And I do, uh, I wonder what happened. You know, it'll be interesting to see some research on what happened to those couples who were going to get married last year and, and delayed it a year. Yeah. Did they make it to the wedding? Right. Would it have been better? Would it have been better? And maybe it's better they delayed, right? Like yeah. there, there might have been some people who it's like, well, maybe you needed a little extra time to sort it out. And you have to wonder too, um, because COVID put a different stress on relationships, right? and they may have reconsidered. Hopefully not, but you know, yeah. it, you know, maybe they're deciding, do we still want to go forward with this? So I saw yeah. some research yesterday that said that people, generally speaking, around the country, still uh, want to know that there are COVID precautions mm -hmm. at a wedding. So whether it's it's uh, masks for an indoor ceremony or right. ceremony still being outdoors, but it's good that people are being able to get on with it. Right, you know? right, right. And yeah. still still make that magic happen, even if it's a few months later. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. Chrissy Teigen is apologizing again over some very old tweets. Teigen says she used to be an insecure, attention-seeking troll, and she's embarrassed by her behavior. So Riley, this is sort of, and let me try to bring, because some of you don't care about like these sorts of controversies <laughs> that happen online, right? Chrissy Teigen uh, grew very famous because she was really good at using Twitter. She was a model, but uh, back in, you know, 2011 through 2015, it was kind of like, hey, there's right. this cool model who's also uh, funny and has a really funny, really sharp sense of humor. Mm -hmm. And so uh, at the time, what may have seemed funny, today you look back on and think, boy, this was mean. Yeah, this wasn't right. funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she took it to even another level where she would be like DMing other people, like kind of pseudo celebrities. Mm -hmm. So like remember Courtney Stodden who was 16 mm -hmm. and married this guy, this actor who was 50 something and she became kind of a punching bag. Right. Uh, well, you know, Chrissy Teigen like DMing her like, hey, you'd be better off. I can't wait until you die, I think was the quote. Yeah. You're like, yeah. oh my gosh, right. like this stuff. But Riley, how do you weigh it as far as like, I mean, how do you believe if an apology is genuine? Is there a path to redemption for something you did, you know, 10, seven to 10 years ago? I think it depends on the person who, on who they targeted. Now, you know, I mean, if people are forgiving, which a lot of people are, you know, they will forgive, but they're also the ones that, you know, kind of hold it to heart and say, yeah, it, it stung a bit. So, I, you know, I don't, that's the thing about doing that type of thing, right. you know, and, and, 
and you know we see that too i mean you can not specifically her let's say for an yeah. example somebody else you could just put anything and somebody will come back with some kind of uh, uh, derogatory um, oh, statement yeah. a yeah. lot for of sure. times um, sure. but you know what i mean you know, I think it's great that, you know, she apologized and, and doing that and moving on and stuff. But I think it's, you know, when, once it's said, it's said, it hurts. And I think, too, it's probably the challenge of, um, you know, the people that are saying it and the public nature of their role versus um, somebody that maybe isn't used to being in the spotlight in that way. And they're all of a sudden you're getting all the vitriol of the celebrities uh, fan base, too, and, mm. and all the ridicule. And if you're like yeah. 16 and you don't know how to navigate that space, right. while it may be a blip on the radar for Chrissy Teigen, it may have had a much more significant emotional impact mm -hmm. for a 16 year old mm -hmm. um, getting that sort of For uh, sure. commentary right. from an adult. Yeah, right. it's interesting. I mean, Tegan calling herself a troll, she has been very outspoken during the Trump administration. And so there are many conservatives who are celebrating her downfall, uh, much like she was kind of celebrating every kind of negative aspect of the Trump administration. I do think, like, without going into the detail on her situation, because mm -hmm. I don't know, like, I, yeah. I feel like, does she deserve forgiveness? Everyone does. Mm -hmm. Should she step away from the public limelight for a long time? Yeah, like, yes. We can forgive you without inviting you back to the public sphere. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I do worry about societally this fact that I think it's way easier for us to, like, just judge others mm -hmm. because it makes us feel superior. And so yeah. is there a path to redemption? Are we willing to do work? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I feel like people just want to take the easy path. I mean, but don't you think, though, that yeah. to judge? Don't you think that comments on social media, Twitter, for example, um, they've gotten worse? Oh, yeah. Although you look at Chrissy Teigen and are like, she was more of a monster that long ago, mm -hmm. you know, and you say, oh, she's shown some growth mm -hmm. over the years. And but, I think self-awareness, yeah. too, with age comes more self-awareness. So, right. I mean, there might be some genuineness in the apology, yeah. but she's had more lived life experiences now, too. Hard, always hard to know. Yeah. But it is a reminder that whatever you think you're, you're tweeting or Facebooking out to the ether, like, there are real people on the other side of this. So. Mm -hmm. And try to try to be the person that like your kids would be proud of someday, right. you know? Yeah, yeah exactly.